Howdy friends, just going to pop into one stop. Plan to scrap district council submitted. I knew it would happen. Please wear your face covering when entering this store. I haven't got one on because it's bad for the health. You know that. Don't we? Assistants are wearing masks. I have a health condition. I'm wearing a mask. And it's without oxygen depletion. So, let's see what happens, shall we? something to buy Hello, bruv. All right, how are you I'm, doing? I'm pretty average. Good. I can't wear a mask, mate. Health condition. I'm to get one of those. What's that? £6.50 online. I'm not paying to, to not wear a mask. I've got, I've got a health condition. You don't need proof. I don't need proof. No. I don't need proof. You do. Honestly, you need proof. It says who? Because, um... Shop, any shop's got the power to refuse. Say again? Any shop's got the power to refuse entry. They can refuse entry by way of advising. Yeah. But they can't, they can't sort of tell you to leave in an abrupt manner. I've got a health condition. Well, you, that's what I'm saying. That's everybody, every, anybody that wears a mask will have a health condition because they're depleted of oxygen through a mask. But that's nothing price of someone having a go at you. Oh, um, anyway, how come you're not wearing a mask it's got, then? It's got you next to Kim. I don't have to, I don't have to prove, I don't, I don't have to state what my health conditions are. That should just be enough. I've been in two shops this morning that I wouldn't have gone into before I got this. Yeah. Didn't even batter an eye. It's worth it. It's a small price to pay. £6.50. It takes three working days to come. You get your lanyard, you get your wallet, you get another card. Is that a private is that a private business thing, is it? Nope. It's an official website. With the NHS? Nope. It's a sunflower lanyard. Yeah. So it's basically hidden disabilities, sunflower lanyard. And each thing costs 65p. Yeah. And then they put the postage on top, all including 650. So they put they put room. they put nearly six quid on postage. Okay, now. Well, it's about four, <laughs> it's about four pounds. It's a, all right, bro. Anyway, that's separate from that, and those two are inside separate. I have looked at. I've looked into this very seriously. Um, uh, on the government website, 
and they state they don't. There's no stating that you need ident uh, you need proof of a medical condition because there's nobody. There's nobody in a store that can recognise a med uh, as a medic. Mm. So you can't have a non-medic. Oh yeah, definitely. Advise a non-medical. Oh, so I just feel that. More comfortable oh, yeah, that's fair enough. But uh, I, 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 in case I, you know, if the worst comes to the worst. <laughs> that's alright, they've already locked down the door. Oh. Alright, Prof? You've seen this? Where a carry bag on his head. You're right, Prof? <laughs> it's a joke, isn't it? I'll catch you later, James. See you later. Thanks ever so much. I'm, I'm just testing out what, um, what's happening because you know it's, at some point it's going to be coming down to the, um, the vaccine. If you haven't had the vaccine, you won't be allowed to shop. You know that's what's coming, don't you? Don't, don't shake your that head, mate. I, I can, I can From the vaccine? Yeah, I can have another lanyard that states I'm exempt from the vaccine. <laughs> the vaccine will work just like a mask does. Protected against others. You, you do realise that if you wear a mask, yeah, yeah, you can still catch it if you wear a mask. Oh. The reason you're wearing a mask is to protect other people. Other people yeah. are catching it from you. Yeah. You're still susceptible to catching it if you wear a mask. Yeah. Well, I've got a hanky here, yeah. so if I'm going to cough or sneeze, yeah. as I've always done, as everybody should do, yeah. is I'll cough or sneeze into my hanky. And sanitise. Well, I don't agree with that because no. there are chemicals in it. I'm allergic to some of the chemicals in it. Look what, it's, look, what it's do, look what it's done to my hands. Water. My, um, Soap and water, mate. My girlfriend, she's a nurse. Yeah. And she can't use that because of her skin. Yeah. And she uses some other substance that they've supplied. I don't yeah. know what it is, but I'll find it in a for you. She uses that and um, it works wonders. And she, and she also uses eucalyptus oil as well. Yeah, I'm more into the, 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 the homeopathic stuff, natural remedies and all that shit. So, you know, and then... From Jamaica, so. The ma natural, best natural remedy she's is... She's from Jamaica, to, so she knows every single remedy. Yeah, well, my, she's a what? From Jamaica. Oh, is she? You've got a new girlfriend as well? Oh, bless you, mate. <laughs> Do that. Brilliant. All right, bro. Yeah. Cheers for that. Thank you. Come on in. There you go, what well, I got away with that. No mask. Like I say, I made contingencies just in case. But um It is a joke. They're taking the piss. Look at this. Beauty. Whoa. Look at that. That is stunning, that. Literally stunning. <laughs> Mark 1 Cortina GT. That is beautiful. That is beautiful. Absolutely stunning. Okay, let's have a go at Tesco's. Oh, did I? Uh, I can't wear a mask. All right. Thank you. How are you doing? All right. You well? You know you need to get a lot of oxygen. You know what it does, don't you? All right, bruv. That was easy. Okay, so I'll do my shopping in peace. Okay, so that was Tesco's, no problems there. 
no scowls or anything from anybody. I do carry around a handkerchief. Just out of courtesy. But um, let's have a look at Lidl's now. Let's see what they say in here. <laughs> this is my contingency mask just in case I got um, to a point where I was absolutely refused entry so I sort of had this in my pocket just in case but I've I've just been into Lidl no problem there wasn't nobody else or everybody else was wearing a mask but uh, I don't think people are aware of their rights to look after their own health. I carry around a tissue in my hand, a, a handkerchief. I do, just out of cute, a courtesy really, I do cover my mouth when I'm walking by somebody that's frail or looks vulnerable or anybody really. But it's just out of courtesy. So, that's actually four shops I've been in today. One I didn't record because of the transactions I was doing. So, but um, that's four that haven't questioned at all why not wearing a mask. As long as you've got your own health at heart and you know a few technical issues like the oxygen content of air, 20.5 or 20.9 percent. Oxygen content of air behind a mask can go down to 17 percent. Danger level is 19 percent ish. This isn't medical advice, this is just common sense, common knowledge, really. So, as long as you're armed with a, a few technical aspects, B, the in inverted commas law, but um, any law that is, isn't pertaining to you protecting your health, which a mask doesn't protect your health, it, it, it's a detriment to health. Like I say, a hanky, if you're going to sneeze, if you're going to cough, you, you know, I was brought up to sneeze into a hanky or cough into a handkerchief and nothing's changed at all. And I've seen two people come out and they're gasping. They're literally gasping for air. Young people. So stuff them I say. The government is trying to kill us. Simple as that. Down, 